Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 18 of my AC Milan Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And today we have that important game that I have been focusing on against Fiorentina. Uh, we lost against them earlier in the season, so it's important to get a win here. Uh, for that, yeah, results against teams if we finish on the same points. Because third, I wouldn't say it's a must, but Champions League football, or it's a must at least if we're going to uh, get back to at least a reasonable financial setup, you know. Uh, because playing Champions League is so much more money compared to not playing Champions League uh, like we are now. But that result was just 2-3. I imagine that, or I remember anyway, that was a struggling game. Uh, but we only lost 2-3 away from home against a team that was top uh, at that point in time anyway, and since then they've gone to lose eight games. I think when we played them, they were unbeaten. Uh, they didn't have a loss, so obviously, yeah, they, they were on form, and playing uh, on their home turf was always going to be a hard task, but now we're the team on form, and uh, they they have Europa League game, yeah, knockout stage against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, so that's going to be hard for them. I believe they have some defensive injuries as well in Gonzalo Rodriguez, one of their better centre-backs. Started 25 games this season, so he's going to be missed. And also Mikko Richards at right-back, who's also running out of his contract. Uh, we need a right-back, definitely, to rotate with uh, De Chilio for next season as Abate is moving on to Galatasaray. Yeah, but for me... Yeah, uh, these players, because he's still contracted to Man City, of course. Look at that, 47.5k wages he wants, uh, 2.2 million sign-on fee. Uh, yeah, players like coming from Man City, uh, top four teams in general, but teams that have a lot of money and they pay their players a lot of wages, probably a, a bit more than they deserve. It's not easy to get them, you know. Uh, they got this Octavio. I think there's someone else I was thinking about. Uh, that has high potential, not him. But either way, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, that's a position we need. But asking a bit too, yeah, asking for a bit too much money uh, for mine. Also, yeah, I was searching for more. Yeah, approach to sign players, free transfers, and yeah, our old friend Nicola Liali. Of course, you know he runs out his contract in the first season. I signed him with Manchester United, and he's still going strong for me. A few seasons in, so for me, it's a good signing. Um, I'm not someone who will feel it's unrealistic if I yeah sign a player that I've signed in another save because that's always going to happen. The amount I play football manager anyway, if you play the game a lot and you want to make the best signings for your team, uh, considering he's Italian as well, and considering yeah new subscribers who are, who have just subscribed for this series yeah wouldn't feel that because they haven't seen the Manchester United one. So it's not something I immediately concern and say, no, I'm not going to sign him. He's a free transfer, he's Italian, and he's quality, and he can improve. So for me, uh, hopefully he can at least accept the contract, and then he'll join us for free. Uh, which again, that would be absolutely amazing if he could become a first-team goalkeeper uh, for us. Uh, right now, well, next season anyway, he would be the backup. Uh, Abiati will go. I'll try and sell Agazi as well. When does Agazi, yeah, his contract ends in 2017, but I'll try and sell him, and Abi. Abiati, his contract runs at, runs out at the end of the season, and then uh, when Diego Lopez gets too old, then we've got Gabriel as well. He's got some decent potential, and then that guy we signed, Diamora. So I reckon, yeah, we have good stocks in the goalkeepers. You probably think, don't sign Liali. You've got these two guys coming through, but it's always good to have options. It's always good to have two quality keepers coming through, you know what I mean? So, and especially because he's Italian, that just, yeah, steps up uh, the realistic, uh, yeah, the real realisticness, if that's a word, of the signing. Uh, for Liali, because personally, yeah, he is Italian. That's like uh, a big choice uh, for mine, and because he's a uh, young on the younger scale for a goalkeeper, and he's for free, so that's insane. And he just needs to accept it now. So we'll see if that happens or not. But it should do. Usually, when they accept it initially, it just yeah, the process of going through it. But this is the lineup we're gonna go in with. Solid team. Uh, we've been improving uh, steadily, but now this is the situation. Fiorentina. Uh, they're not the team they were earlier in the season. I'm not sure if they overachieved early, and they're just yeah maybe they had a good uh, good fixtures, uh, winnable games. You don't really know, uh, but now it's still a huge game because this will separate us. You know, even Fiorentina, um, like if Roma win, or well, they just did win, yeah, Roma just won. So if we beat them, Roma's got that gap now as well, then we kind of <laughs> have the battle against Roma, so that will be a bit interesting, but we already, we have the win against them, don't we, we have the results against teams, which makes it even more crucial, I could almost play for a draw here, but of course you want to win at home, but you got to think about it in that way as well, and they do play that interesting formation, with three at the back, who they have, they've got Tomovic, 
Like, if this guy was in my team, like, you wouldn't think he's that good, like, comparing to my other centre-backs, you know? And he's natural right-back. He's not He's not that good, you know? And then they've got Mancini. He's only 18. They're playing an 18-year-old centre-back. He's We should dominate them. We should uh, be able to get past him and all that kind of stuff. He's not good and he's not quick at all, so he doesn't even have good potential. So they're forced to play this guy. Do you ever notice that? Like, that's a player I would never, ever play, you know? Never, ever. I would never play him because he doesn't have the potential. Do you notice that? Uh, he's wanted by clubs. What's that? Oh, yeah. See, look at these te teams to sign him on the end of his contract. So this is something we can exploit. Definitely. And then they've got Basanta, who's a bit better. He's been consistent. Uh, his experience shows as well. But again, he's not amazingly rated. Like, he's similar. He's got similar ratings and attributes, like to Alex and Mexis, like, guys that you were saying maybe he's not good enough for us like Mexis and Alex got to get rid of him but yeah they're like they got similar ratings like around the 15s you know for the important defensive attributes so we've got the, that there um Milan Badalj I actually really rate this guy I think he's a super player we played him last time I told you I wanted to get yeah those high passing players uh, that they have uh, they got Rossi as a wing back He's natural at left back, and he's playing right wing back again. He's not really, really good. And Kanna Erkin, uh, yeah, that's his natural position as attacking left wing back. He's a really good player in that position. He's pretty quick, not overly pacey, but got decent pace attributes. A really good crosser. That's something we have to look out for. Um, David Pizarro, again, really good passer. I think he may have declined one passing attribute. Remember, he had 18, didn't he? So he's on the decline, and Boya Valero, a bit older, 30, not really declining yet. That's a, I wouldn't say 30 is a good age, but for this season, he's going to be a consistent player, and he showed that. And then Barbica, I know I signed him for Inter in FIFA, uh, but he hasn't really been given a chance this season. But he has scored a few times, and Gomez is the guy we have to be careful of. He's the consistent goal scorer, but we've got our own dangers as well. So let's go in. And just got to see the opposition instructions. I want to see that Kana Urk and what do we have on him. Yeah, I want to even put an additional thing there to tight mark him. That's on him, yeah. And show on to weaker foot because he's going to be a big danger getting those crosses in. Um, so we'll go next. And our instructions is, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I, I thought we had that exploit through the middle because that, yeah, weak young centre-back want to go through the middle with that. And we should be able to, yeah, we should be able to win this. We have to go for a win. Like, with that, yeah, f definitely that weak defender in. He's a young guy, but he doesn't even have potential as well. So, I'm going to go in and say passionately and say, I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we last played Fiorentina. Go out there and impress, well, not express, <laughs> express yourselves. Oh, come on, lads. We've got this. I'm not well, I'm not sure why I said I, we got this, but I just feel like this is our time. We've hit the right form, and we could even challenge for second and get in Champions League right away. We won't have to play that qualifying game uh, to get into it, even though it is against a weaker team. Uh, for bigger teams, they're usually, yeah, really easy wins. Uh, look at that, Erkin, early yellow. Oh, two feet, he should be gone. He should be gone. Two feet, that's a red. Two feet early in the game, yes! One of their most dangerous players, in my opinion. Obviously, I showed that by yeah doing the additional instructions on him because I was scared of his crossing, but now he's gone. Definitely now we have to showcase the dominance. Rafinha, come on. Early goal. Oh, this is so crucial. al Sharawi. Oh, what an early chance here we have. Do we take it right away? Do we just yeah play the same game? But if we haven't scored by halftime, yeah, we'll go a bit more... Uh, direct and a bit more attacking. I think that's the best way to play it, you know, before changing things specifically. And sometimes people say I should set up a uh, different tactics like attacking and defensive, but the thing is, sometimes I alter it depending who we have on the pitch, you know. So, yeah, the familiarity of the tactic will go down anyway. But, oh, no, no! Oh, my God! I thought it would have been one of those goals where, like, when the opponent gets a red card and it was going to be one of those hard games... And they just sneak a goal. Ooh, we are lucky. But that shows me we need it. We do need a change. We'll go more direct. We'll play a higher tempo. Who? what else? I think that's it for now. Maybe run a defense as well. We'll put those on and we'll play. We'll press OK and we'll go on to attacking now. That's the warning sign. They're probably definitely, well, yeah, definitely going to be playing on the counter now. Come on, Menez. Let's see if this change works. Almost instantly. Rafinha, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, come on. This has to be a win now. I know Fiorentina is still a good team, 
But we've got that advantage now. Come on. We can push on in this half. We'll go... Uh, I don't know what to say because if I'll say aggressively, I'm not happy. Please, yes. It was good. I was scared because, you know, Fiorentina is a good team. But surely with an extra man... Like, again, I don't want to go too attacking. We might concede one. And Barbacar's taken a knock, so... We'll see what they do with him, but now this is where the changes need to be uh, made. But they're probably playing really defensive at the same time. So, who are we going to... Destro's having a poor game, but he's our main striker, you know. We have to keep him on. Menez is a guy I'd rather take off because, yeah, his finishing attribute. That's what I'm always going to be concerned of with him. Only 10 finishing. Doesn't take the chances. The fullbacks are doing their job, so they're getting good ratings. I don't want to change that, you know. Uh, Rafin I know, Suso to come off, and we'll bring Rafinha in that role, he prefers that a little bit more, and, oh, Montalivo, come on, step up, like, he's got to step up on this occasion, or we're probably gonna, like, I think, I really want to sell him, you know, because even though he's the captain of the club, technically, De Jong's captain here, because uh, Montalivo is not starting, um, yeah, I just feel I need to do that. And maybe just put the fullbacks. It's hard because that's what they're working that role in training, you know. Training. And wait. See, look, the accomplished. But we haven't changed anything. We haven't changed anything, have we? We haven't changed anything position wise, but the tactics just accomplished. The passing styles. Oh, because I changed it. Uh, yeah, I changed it to more direct. You see, that's what I mean. If I even created attacking tactics, sometimes I might play on retained possession, and sometimes I might play on more direct passing. It just changes depending on the situation in the game. Like here, I need to score a goal, and yeah, more be more expressive here. It just it depends on what I what I feel is right for the game, and yeah, so you can't create. I'll probably have to create so many options. Like probably ten tactics, uh, which you can only do three. You know. Uh, for all the different uh, styles that could uh, be set up in a game for me. Sure, they could be attacking and then control and defensive, but then all the different instructions, which what's, that's, what win, that's what wins games, uh, the little instructions that you change. So it's never always going to be 100%. Because I'm sure yeah, everyone or most people play Football Manager change things during games instruction-wise and all of that. So come on. At least there's a very... I'm going to say there's a very low chance we're going to lose this game. That's a good thing. But, ah, uh, come on, this 20 minutes. We should have scored already. Ah, uh, we should have scored. It's still 20 minutes, though. No need to rush or something like that. Um, I don't want to take Destro off because he looks amazing now. He's improved so much. He can score if he gets a chance. Maybe Rafinha's time to come off. I think I've got to look at who's going to help us win here. This is what you got to look at. Uh, how about Ola John? Uh, Honda. Honda. He scored. He scored some goals this season. We'll bring him on for Rafinha. Come on. Is there anything else in instruction? What's go route one? We'll try that maybe a bit more. And maybe shoot on sight to take the chances. And push higher up. Maybe this is where we could change the styles because they are playing well. Maybe I'll take it in this way. Not think they're playing well. I don't need to change it. Make them complete wingbacks and push them up a bit. Or I could go the striker. Could I go the striker route? Push these guys up to strikers. I've done that one game before, haven't I? And I put deep line forwards on attack. I've had good experience with deep line forwards in FM15 this year. So we'll go with that. And see, look at all these changes. See, I would have additionally another tactic to set up this one. You know what I mean? So we'll just go with a natural wing back, not complete wing back. I'm not sure if you want me to analyze that. Uh, yeah, what's inverted? Nah. Just, yeah, go with the wing, complete wing. Not, yeah, just wing backs, not complete wing backs. I won't go into what's the difference here. I'll just keep my faith in it. So, like I said, that's gone down to Compton now, but uh, it would. Like, you wouldn't... Like, I just changed the tactic before, you know, to attacking. From standard to attacking. So, it'll be one additional tactic. Then this one will be another additional one. And then, if I were go to da want to go down that route, you know, like, I'd want to have a defensive setup. And that will be four different tactics already, and you can't have that. So, you're always uh, going to have to be in this situation, you know. Come on, let's take it now! 
Come on. And now De Jong. Let's go. Churchy. Come on. Go. Oh, please. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. Rami. Could have been offside apparently. Whoa. Yes. Come on. Come on. Churchy with the shot on target. And that was a deal. Rami to pounce. Come on. Maybe let's go for another. Just finish this off. Finish this off. Come on. Oh, Churchy's injured, of course. Ah. That's frustrating. But that could allow me to just go two strike. And okay, I'll be responsible here. Be responsible. I won't get uh, yeah, caught up in the situation. Because it's happened before. It's happened before we've conceded late goals. So let's go not all out defense. But just be responsible. Just be smart. Just be smart here. Can Montalivo play defensive midfield? Yeah, he can drop back. Um, we can play two defensive mids here. We That's better. That is better. Can you play roaming playmaker from there? I'm not sure you can. Or can you for defensive? But I don't want that anyway. I'd rather uh, maybe just a general defensive midfield on defend. And then, yeah, De Jong will be the ball winning midfielder. I think because he can just go for a challenge, be a bit more strong. And Honda drop back to a center mid because, yeah, you would have said there's a lot of space there. And Honda... There we go. What we're going to use him as maybe just a deep line playmaker on defend. Um, or box to box. Yeah, we'll do we'll do box to box because then that's defending and attacking. And we'll play two deep line forwards. Uh, we'll play them like that. That's that's the best possibility. Yeah, and then we'll just take. Now this is where we'll retain the possession. We'll even play a lower tempo here. Um, play out of defense. Uh, anything else? Work ball into the box. Take run of defense off. I'm not going to do drop deeper because apparently that is bad. <laughs> like, yeah, your players drop and give them the ball and, yeah, just sit back. And if you can see them, be more disciplined as well. So set those up. And again, this is another tactic we've set up. So I've probably used four different variations so far in this game. So that's what, yeah, I kind of want to explain, you know, with those situations, when people say, yeah, you should set up personal tactics, but yeah, you have to, to win games, you have to do it on the day, you know, have different tactics, we could finish it off here, we could finish it, Alsha, Alsha, oh, we could still have a chance, I think, but either way, it's running down the clock, which is a good thing, Alsha, oh, now De Jong, shoot, oh, smart though, just to keep possession, Destro, well won by Tomovic, they launch it forward, but the Giglio smarts. He's got smarts there. Especially for a young guy. Yes! Get in! Come on! This is exactly the game I wanted three points in. And I had to manage... Oh, that's a manager's win there with all the yeah formation, tactic, changes I made. Whoa! And now we've gone five points clear of Roma, then six points additionally clear of Fiorentina. We could almost go for the fight for a second now. Oh, we've got this back. I'm just, I'm so happy uh, that I've turned it around. So again, it's another disappointing injury for Alessio Churchy. He was just coming back from his injury as well. Uh, that's disappointing. It's really disappointing. So maybe he has a little bit of injury proneness in him. And with Menes, yeah, uh, I know he scored a decent amount of goals this season from the chances I've given him, but 10 finishing, I'm always going to question it. I'm always going to question it. So next season... Uh, definitely right wing, a guy that can score like Al Sharawi is what we need to become a killer team. Like we would actually, as we confirm Liali now, um, only pay 79k. That's just like for fees, but we get him more or less for free. But if you want to be technical, uh, we pay yeah 79k, which is more or less nothing, you know. <laughs> uh, but that's a good signing. Uh, it's probably even a better signing for AC Milan than it was for United because he's Italian. It just a bit more realistic, you know. Uh, like I've been mentioning, and Marata, I showed interest in him because, you know, Pazzini uh, will be leaving, and yeah, Marata, you say he's from a rival, but they're not giving him a chance. They don't think he's first team, and he's a backup player, and he's got potential, yeah, good potential, but can he play, yeah, that's the thing about him, he can play on the left as well, and he's quick, uh, good finisher, so when cutting in as an inside forward and hitting on it on his right, yeah, that's exactly what we'll be looking for. Uh, he was a high goal scorer uh, in his... Uh, 
national team days for the Spanish under-21. Scored 15 times in 24 appearances. Still got the potential in him. So, yeah, he could be dangerous. Uh, but then in our best team, yeah, you don't know. We, we're going to be looking for the guy on the right side. So maybe he's not the, the guy for us. But as I've been uh, mentioning uh, continu- uh, continually, it's the the right-sided uh, right sided winger, uh, right-sided inside forward to score a lot. Because look at that Al Sharawi. Imagine if we had someone else, and there's no reason why someone else can't score that many goals on the right side, yeah? You think Menes might score a little bit more. He might have uh, maybe like a 12 or a 13 if he's played as much as Al Sharawi. So, yeah, it's not too bad. But someone with a better finishing than Menes could put like an output of Al Sharawi. So, uh, that's why I think this setup is amazing <laughs> because it allows for so many goals. But the downside now is we've got suspensions everywhere. We've got Rami. Oh, it's just in the. T- it's only in the cup, yeah? And it's only banned for one game. And it's that Palmer one. It's a second leg, yeah, where we already beat them. Yeah, 3-0. So that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. And I'll just show the result here. Payermo and Juve. Even though it's away for Juve, they should get the result. Uh, what is it going to be for them? Oh, yep, they win. They See, they're too good. It did take them a 90-second-minute strike, though, uh, through Asamoah. Uh, but they did it. <laughs> they still did it. That's what the best teams do. They eventually pick up uh, the points that they need to... Uh, so happy about getting Liali. He's I've grown, He's one of my favorite young goalkeepers now in Football Manager. He impressed me so much when I signed him with United, and I've only that's the only time I've ever signed him in Football Manager. I think so. Signing him two times in my history of Football Manager, yeah, I wouldn't say that's unrealistic. So here's one of the right backs I have scouted. I think his name is Make, but I'm yeah I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. He's Brazilian, so you probably have to say it in like a funny way. So if you know how to say his name, yeah, please drop in the comments. But he's a leading player for Serie A sides. He's really quick, uh, good technique. Uh, defensively, he's okay considering his attributes are pretty attacking. Uh, he's got, yeah, he, he doesn't say that he has really more potential uh, than he's got right now. Like his current ability, potential ability are the same. But also, he can play multiple positions. He could play as a center midfielder as well. So obviously, he'd take one of the non-EU positions um, that we can get two each season, but we've already done one, so that's going to be a consideration as well. He could potentially, yeah, play on the right wing as an inside forward, maybe, if we play him there. He's finished. You see, oh, this is what sometimes I get confused in football manager. This guy's finishing is better than Menez, who's an attacking player, and this guy's a right back. His finishing's 12. Surely Menez's finishing has to be higher than his when you just compare that. But anyway, I won't talk about that. Uh, so yeah, he looks a great option, and again, in the Brazilian league, so he's fairly cheap, value 3.8, but they don't want to sell him, but I will show my interest, and he's the kind of type we need, he will be a backup for De Chilio at right back, but then, yeah, he may play some more games, because he can yeah, play multiple positions, center mid, and even that right wing, he could probably score goals with that pace, or at least create goals, that's what we would like to see, so yeah, he looks like a good type, um, but there may be better players out there who don't know. Contral for the left back. Uh, yeah, that guy we scouted, he's not that good. And uh, Badalge uh, from Fiorentina. So he'll be a cheap player, cheap signing. He's done okay this season. See, he's got high passing accuracy, but he doesn't do too much, you know. He's tackling. Yeah, he gets a decent amount of tackles each game as well. Could play defensive midfield. So he could be affordable. He's affordable, like you could probably get him at 4 million, around, yeah, 4 point something at least, maybe 4.5, around that kind of price, which is a bargain, you'd think, for a player of his quality. Some high mental attributes and just some really good creative play. He's probably slightly better than Montalivo and a bit younger as well. So we sell Montalivo, replace him with him, just as an example, uh, that would be okay. So he's going to be on my radar for the future, or well, next season, <laughs> like the future. He's not young. Yeah, I'll just say we'll have interest in that make guy. But like I said, that's probably wrong how you say his name. We just got to, yeah, move on to the next game against Parma, uh, get into the final, and yeah, we should be facing Juve as well. They should, yeah, kick on in their second leg as well. Okay, lads, it's time to move into the next game, and it's the second leg of the Italian Cup semi-final, and you can see Juve absolutely killed Torino over both legs, but this one specifically uh, with Fernando Llorente, scoring a hat-trick. They are unstoppable, and he's been this season, scoring 17 times. He's got eight assists as well. 
He's an amazing striker. He's one of those really tall beasts, and he's got some other great attributes. He's not just tall and good in the air. He's a great finisher. He can create uh, being Spanish. You know, he has that natural flair in him. He's got 20 balance. He's actually a really amazing player. Like I said, he's not just one of those tall strikers. He's got so much more about him. And Juve, they're going to be hard to stop for the next few seasons. We're going to have to develop our team signings wise and everything else like training facilities everything like that to match it with them and that's not going to be easy because they've got some amazing talent and those kind of players like Urente, Tevez, uh, Pogba, Vidal, just all those names we maybe have two that are that kind of quality if you go to a team here where I'm resting a few guys because we'll go back again yeah we're winning 3-0 and we've got those away goals, uh, but it's a great opportunity. And they're attacking players, like midfield. Like, we got, we're got, we playing Drazic on left wing and Mastor. So, defensively, we should be all right, because we've changed, what, we're bringing Luca Antonelli. Just, yeah, of course, we are just going to risk, well, I say rest Armero, but he's suspended anyway. It's a good, like, it's for that suspension to get out of the way, you know. What was it for? Like, yeah, for two yellow cards, which is a bit strict. That's a bit strict. Two yellow cards and you get a suspension. Wow. I suppose because it's shorter than a league season. It's like they want players to be suspended, like to, yeah, test team squad depth or something like that. But, yeah, so we're going to be playing those kind of players uh, in this game to hopefully give them the match fitness and everything like that. And match experience, you know, for Hashim Astor, it's going to be his first start, is it, for the season. And look at that. He's developing in training. So, yeah, everything, he's he's been good in training. So he deserves a start, you know. How about Dejan Drazic? He's been okay. And I say we need that right-sided uh, inside forward to score a lot of goals. Should we try and train him into that eventually? So, yeah, we could play him and Al Sharawi in the same games in the future. Should I do that potentially? Drop in your comments so he can be natural on that side as well. But we'll go in. Destro uh, hopefully can score some goals. We brought Pazzini onto the bench, but he's going to be leaving. We do need a new striker, though, uh, most definitely. But again, Al Strari could play striker, but I want yeah where I can fit in at one point in time in the future. Hashim Astor, well, yeah, basically, Drazic will play that Menes position, and then Alsha will be on that left wing position, and that will be really scary. You've got Drazic... Mastor, Al Sharawi, and then Destro. And they're all younger types. Like Destro is probably the oldest, 24. But he could play, yeah, at least till he's like 30, so six seasons. So like two or three seasons for now. If we have that set up, like Mastor being the youngest, he'll be, you know what, three seasons, 19 to 20. He'll still be developing a bit more. And of course, we'll have regions coming through and all that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, before I get into the game as well, this is something I mentioned uh, earlier, but I don't think uh, people left or you guys didn't leave too much comments on it because a lot of other stuff were happening around that time because I was doing badly and the main comments were I'm crap at the game or whatever. Uh, but luckily, I've improved since then. <laughs> but yeah, it's not me improving. It's just yeah, sorting things out tactically. Uh, you need that. But anyway, yeah, to move teams eventually in this specific series, achieve something AC Milan and then consider offers. I've never got that. Um, same with international management. I've never got that in this year in football manager because I haven't, yeah, I haven't ventured in too many seasons like down the track. So I haven't actually got offers in. You know, it's weird. Even with Manchester United, I haven't got offers, which is pretty weird. You know. So, but either way, leave your thoughts if you'd like to see that because I do have the top European leagues. I think like the top five, like all like Premier League, um, uh, Spanish league, um, uh, French league, or French leagues and leagues, English leagues, everything like that. Not just the top division, the top two, I think. But of course. Oh, yeah, want to go to a big team, you know. Uh, but leave your thoughts on that as well, along with international management to make this series eventually, yeah, be absolutely amazing one. But here we'll say passionately, I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep our good run going. And we'll just say that there. But here, more than anything, winning this game, even if we lose it like a 1-0, I'll take that by giving a full game. I want to give the full game here to Drazic and Hashim Astor. Really want to do that. So let's see how they go. Men is early, though. Menes, oh, Destro, what an attempt, oh, I don't see those kind of volleys attempted, uh, like scissor, yeah, scissor kicks, I don't see too many of them, wow, oh man, imagine if that was a goal, that would have been one for the ages in Football Manager, I've never, I don't think one of my players have scored a goal like that, that audacious, that was crazy that he attempted that, wow, okay, Menes, can he score a free kick? Tap it in, he does, Destro. And then he gets the tap-in goal. 
24th of the season. Yeah, if he can get to that 30, like right now, 24 goals, that was enough to sign him up, you think, for the 11 million or whatever it was. Uh, but if he gets to 30, I reckon signing him up permanently is really amazing. And he can only get better as well. He's 24. He's not going to be getting worse as a player. Uh, of course, he won't grow too much more. But yeah, he may have slight um, improvements, which is good. But now Rafinha, I'd love to sign him. He's been impressive. Apart from those long shots, those long shots that he wastes... Um, is the only thing that's negative about his performances. But creatively, he's been amazing. He has a lot of assists so far. I think he scored one or two goals, though. But, yeah, the main part of his game has been his assists as Christian Rodriguez picks up an injury for Palmer. But this game has gone perfect so far. We've got that goal uh, through Destro. And we're giving game time uh, to those guys I mentioned. And you could even put it down uh, for Mattia De Chilio. It's another game from, of course, his first team already, but he's still a younger guy with potential. So the more games we play him in, he'll grow. And I'd like to know, is there a big difference? Like, I, I, Of course, the training is important, but how important is playing players consistently like when they've got potential? Of course, like comparing it. Like, how important is playing them in games regularly compared to just, yeah, having good training facilities? Um, I've never completely tested it, you know? Uh, Luca Antonelli, we don't really have someone that I know what we'll do here. We'll bring on Abate, then we'll just switch him on that side. See, Abate will still be useful for the rest of the season, even though he's leaving. Uh, Mastort, like I said I'll play him, even though if he's getting low ratings. I'll just take off a Menez just to keep fitness, really. And we'll bring on Suso, Suso sorry. Uh, he hasn't done too amazing. He might do better out wide. Do you think so? Opposed to just as attacking midfielder? Because he's got yeah good yeah, attributes for a winger, I think. And especially inside forward as well. And we'll just make those two changes for now, just to be realistic. Not making three at once. Uh, but yeah, Suso, there's a lot more to come from you. And this will be, like I said, it'll be a great win not playing our best teams. Like you got Antonelli and plus those younger guys. It's it's great to get a win because this is this is definitely not our best team. Like this is almost if we played them in the league, those players and then against Palmer, like this is a win. This is three points, so we can show we could rotate like that potentially. Um, Mastor, now nah, just going to give him the full game because he's not going to play many other games, you know. So who's going to come on now? Maybe Honda for a bit of match fitness for Rafinha. There we go. And again, of course, it'll be a good f for morale and to keep another clean sheet as well. We've been much better defensively, haven't we? We've turned that around. Uh, obviously, the biggest change was take away the complete wing backs and put your yeah, fullbacks on support. It's definitely, yeah, we've been a, a lot, not just a bit, we've been a lot more responsible at the back because of that. And they still get forward as well at the same time, just a bit more balanced. Now, Honda. Hashim still finds Suso. And then he finds Destro. Oh, come on. I'd love that second year just to yeah finish off the game, but as long as yeah we've got the result, we're advanced to the final and we're going to play Juventus, which is going to be a crazy game. But maybe a late goal to finish it. I'm not sure if we will or not. And now it's Pellegrini, De Jong with the sliding challenge. He's amazing at those. You see it so often where he goes in for those challenges. Oh, they may have a late chance. Now again, it's well defended on that occasion. Paladino though, they have it back. But De Jong, man, I'm pretty sure he could play as a centre back with his defensive ability, but great win, we are into the final, as you can see, uh, with the reserve, or the bench players, yeah, running onto the grounds, and yeah, congratulations, got to thank them, and, and praise them, and the morale's just going to be up for the upcoming games, you know, and that was a good performance, because they only had one shot on target, we had our chances, and we'll move on, but I want to see this player of the match, Pellegrini, yeah, he's a, a younger type, he's not on loan from anyone, so he's at Palmer, yeah, again, he looks like a decent type already at 18, but yeah, only potentially be a good player. So definitely he'll be a player. We'll come across him uh, later in this save, you know. Uh, he'll be a Serie A player without a doubt, but probably not top four quality. Like I said, we need to make signing so he can compete with Juve, and he probably won't be, yeah, that kind of world-class player. So here's the official confirmation that we are facing Juve in the final. Uh, huge game played at the Olimpico. Uh, it's going to be... A great occasion. Uh, like, yeah, Juve versus AC Milan. That is an absolute huge game. Uh, they're going to be so hard to beat. Obviously, look at their form. Win, 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 win. Who knows how long that's been going for. But can we win it? 
can we win it? And when is that going to be played, that final? Is it just, yeah, at the end of the season? So, yeah, that's fine. So, uh, focus now is going to be on just yeah getting that third at least. But we're, we've got a good break now. It's almost, yeah, we've got a, like, I'm actually just breathing, taking that, yeah, breath of fresh air here. Uh, we've got that breathing space. We've got that, yeah, breathing space. Five points. Uh, from Roma, and then we've got the goal difference from them, don't we? Oh, not the goal difference, sorry. Uh, the results between the teams, because we beat them. There we go, 1-0, and we... 1-0 away from home, and then earlier in the season, at home, we we got a draw. So we've got a draw and a win against them, and they've got a win and a loss. So we've got that. And the Inter game, if we can win that, depending how much we win it by, because Inter beat us last time, 1-0. So what happens if we win 1-0 there? who gets that results between the teams then does it go oh, i guess it goes to goal difference if it yeah finishes there on the same points or yeah whatever but hopefully you enjoyed it uh we'll end this here uh hopefully we can push on just keep winning games and we'll definitely and especially maintaining unbeaten uh, unbeaten streak will be very important just to make sure we get in champions league that we've turned it around we've turned the season around i'm so happy about that and for those of you guys that had faith in me and didn't, like, say my tactics were crap, uh, I appreciate the faith uh, because I'm showing it now. And I'll see you guys in the next video.